Hello guys, oh my goodness. I had the longest, craziest day at work yesterday. I did a Las Vegas turn that was five hours delayed. So I had to fly from Boston to Las Vegas, Vegas back to Boston. It was a total of 17 hours at work, actually a little over. I went to work at 8.40, I did not, 8.40 a.m. I did not get back home until after 2 a.m. It was a rough, very long day and I'm still doing no caffeine. So imagine that, imagine that entire day without caffeine. Unreal, but today we have an easy peasy trip. Hopefully if all goes well, one leg to West Palm Beach, Florida, 30 hours, one leg back. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet, but whenever I am alone on layovers, I film more, so that's good. But I did go to Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got. We'll do a little haul. First things first, three bags of spinach, organic baby spinach, that's for my smoothies. Eggs for eggs or tuna patties. Tonight I am going to have some salmon for dinner. I'll either eat it here before work or I will bring it to work. Just Atlantic salmon, barbecue style cut. I like it when they cut it long ways like that. And I'm going to enjoy that with some jasmine rice and I have some veggies. Maybe I'll use my daily harvest veggies in my fridge. We've got lemons. I need to be better about lemon water in the morning. Apples, I am craving apples lately. I'm craving fruit in general lately. So we have three Honeycrisp, or I guess just two Honeycrisp, a green apple, and then I got some pears as well just because they look nice and ready to eat. So my friend told me to drink reds. Her doctor said reds were really good, like beets when you are cutting out caffeine. I guess the nitric oxide helps. So I decided to get a couple reds juices and we'll see what that does for me. It tastes super good. Coconut water for my smoothies and my athletic greens. Three turmeric shots, the mighty turmeric shots. And I've been enjoying the ginger shots as well three ginger shots. You can take, you can buy these and take them on the plane with you. So if you have an issue with nausea, I recommend bringing some of these with you, but they're TSA friendly, they're two ounces. So that's a good thing to note. Another red juice, cottage cheese. I love my cottage cheese. Y'all know I've been eating it with fruits and maybe some granola. I decided to try this sriracha seasoning. I thought it looked pretty good. I just wanna try it for like a little treat here and there. Okay, and then, the actual treats, the treat treat. These aren't exactly super healthy. I think they have oils that I don't generally like to eat, but I've just been wanting a snack and particularly like a low carb snack. So I got the everything and the elote dip, Greek style yogurt dip, and then I got the cauliflower jalapeno dip. And I have, I got these seed crackers to use as like a dip. And I have a little bit of leftover chips too. I am trying to go gluten free this month as well. It's always better for me not to eat gluten per my doctor's recommendations, but I just end up eating it anyway. And I know I feel a lot better when I cut it out. So I'm gonna work and do my best to not have any gluten this month. I already ruined it last night, but I was desperate because I wasn't intending on being on an airplane for 17 hours. So I had to grab something in the airport in Las Vegas. And the only thing open was Cinnabon or Auntie Anne's. So. I got some little pigs in a blanket. Plus I just wanted like some type of reward. But anyway, I got some organic strawberries. I need to rinse those off. And then I got this hot cocoa mm, cream cheese spread. That is not necessarily on the healthy side either, but it is a treat. Oh my gosh. I just realized I haven't had an actual seat. Like I have not sat down once in three hours. That's how long I was walking for. But anyway, all right guys. I'm listening to Hermanos Gutierrez. I absolutely love them. They're these two guys that play very beautiful guitar. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to try to keep my makeup fairly minimal for work because I'm only working one leg. So my makeup doesn't need to be like anything super fancy. I was gonna put on a really thick moisturizer for the flight, but it's a, it's a short Florida flight. So I'm just gonna go in with the Merit Great Skin Serum. So this stuff is actually super hydrating anyway as it is. Two or three pumps, I'm running out of that one. I have backup though, patting that in. This is just amazing for a really good base for your makeup to go over. Oh my gosh, guys. I Whenever I have a really long day like I did the other day, yesterday, I don't know why I'm saying the other day, yesterday, 
it kills me like it it just the whole next day although i did walk eight miles today i am like mentally drained what was really hard like yesterday was hard not having caffeine throughout all of that what was really hard was waking up and not being able to have a caffeine have a caffeine have a coffee or something but it's like once i get over that hump in the day because it's just something that i look forward to i'm over it like once that little like hiccup is over with when i would usually grab a coffee or make myself something here at home like a matcha or something once that's gone i'm good and i would say that that beet juice worked so pauline is correct very nice okay now that that's on hmm let me brush up my eyebrows i want them frozen in place and bushy so i'm gonna go in with the refi brow sculpt it's just clear you know i've heard people complaining about it saying that it leaves a white cast i notice it leave a white cast right away but then that dries and i'm good so i don't know if people aren't really giving it a chance or if they're putting on too much or if i just happen to be lucky but i have been okay i'm gonna put in some contour i really don't need to i don't know why i'm doing this i said i was gonna keep it minimal and here i am contouring my face not really though it's subtle that's the merit bronze balm and clay oh, i smashed my head on a cart when i dropped something yesterday on my temple and it's like there's a, a bump there i'm going in with lumify eye drops i really need these today i'm switching up my normal blush and i'm going to use happy by rare beauty this is a very pinky blush Ooh, look at that wow oh i um joseph if you are watching my friend xander worked with you today and he said that you really like my videos and i wish i could have sent i was gonna like say hi or like send a voice memo or something saying hello but i was outside and it was windy and it was a mess and I ended up not being able to do it so i'm gonna give a little shout out here hi joseph hopefully we get to work together someday he is also Boston based. Anyway, I hope you had a good day turn with Xander. Xander is one of my really good friends. Okay, this looks kind of crazy here, but I feel like once, God, I forget how pigmented that blush is. It's, that is a lot of blush, but it is what it is. That's gonna be the look tonight, I guess. I'm just gonna put a little bit of bronzer on as eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I don't know my crew. Uh, one girl on my crew I worked with a long time ago. She's been here forever. So I remember her. I don't really know her, but she's cool from what I remember. Um, and then the other girl I don't know at all. So she looks sweet in her picture. So I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm using the Ilia ma um, mascara. I love this mascara. I feel like it gives so much volume. Uh, I just get the black color, but this is like their volumizing mascara. It is really good. Gosh, I have to be walking out the door in 25 minutes. You guys, I feel like I need to sit on my couch and just take a breather. I'm tired. I sat when I ate, but it was only for like five minutes. I haven't even shown you what I cooked. I cooked dinner and it's very good. Yeah, this gives you, this mascara, I feel like gives you baby doll lashes. Like they're just so volumized. I don't need to be putting more mascara on, but I just can't help myself. I absolutely love it. Look at that. That's a lot. And I've never been one to be like crazy about, I like I don't use any serums or anything on my lashes. Um, and then put a little highlight on, on my brow bone. There we go. It's a very blushy pink look for work. It is very blushy. Um, highlighter by Merit and Bounce. Okay, now I'm gonna Go in with a little bit of setting spray. Probably don't need it because it's such a quick night, but here we are. I'm not landing until 1 a.m. That's one good thing about yesterday and the crazy delay is it prepared me for tonight. <laughs> now we're going to do my hair. I haven't washed my hair since... I haven't washed it in like four days or so. It's been a while. So we're going to do a slick back bun. I don't have time to wash it now. And if I'm going to go to the beach tomorrow, which I kind of want to do, I am not about to wash my hair just to put it in the ocean tomorrow. So let's make this a lovely little hair mask and take a few drops of rosehip oil, the generic one from Trader Joe's. Love this stuff. Okay, now that that is in my hair, I'm going to take my brush i need to get one of those brushes that are specifically for 
a slicked back bun and for separating hair like making a even part because I always have like see the squiggle no matter how hard I try I always have a little squiggle I am I can feel how dehydrated I am I need water immediately putting my hair back in a ponytail and then taking it once it's in a ponytail wrapping it up I know y'all don't need a bun tutorial this is the most basic unimpressive bun and then I'm just taking my black scrunchie and holding it together like so it's not 100% even, but it'll do. And to keep all the little flyaways in place, I'm using the Way matte pomade. I love, I love the way this stuff smells. It smells so good. You just have to make sure you really rub it in because this one will leave white marks if it's not like really like melted and slipped through. So for those of you who have thinner hair like I do. If you're if you see like lines like this and you're self-conscious of it mine aren't that aren't as bad today sometimes they're worse than other times but what you can do is take like an eyeliner brush and then take eyeshadow I just took the dark eyeshadow from my Charlotte Tilbury palette and you can just kind of fill in the little gaps the little lines you don't want to do too much right here because then, then it's going to look weird. But see, it's already beginning. Like, look, over here is worse. I should have used the dark black one. This is like a reddish brown. But do you see how it's filling it in? Just makes your hairline look thicker. A little hack. Not really necessary, just something to do if you want to do it. My hair has been getting better, though, which is a good thing. I'm using my Perfect Hoop earrings. The Perfect Hoop is the company. I know I tell y'all every time. I went into Sephora today actually because I'm looking for, I just can't find it. I couldn't find it in Sephora. I'm looking for the perfect, I want a shimmery, cherry, pink-ish, reddish lip gloss. And I can't find that shade anywhere. I looked at like every single stand in Sephora at everywhere they had lip gloss and I could not find the one that I'm looking for, like the exact shade that I'm looking for. I want it to be like pigmented. I don't want it to be sheer. I want it to be like a glossy, cherry, shimmery, pinky kind of color. If that makes any sense. <sighs> Whatever. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. But what I am going to use, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner, an iconic nude. I always underline my bottom lip because the bottom lip, you can never tell within reason how much it's underlined, overlined because it just blends in so well. I like that. And I really just do the outsides. I only overline the very top, the cupid's bow, and then I stay within my lips going down. This gives them more, a more natural, like plumper look. You don't want to overline all the way around your <laughs> lips because then you're going to look like a clown. You're going to look like a little girl who like got into her mommy's makeup bag, which I did a lot as a little girl. <laughs> my mom has pictures. She has pictures of me sitting in the sink with makeup like all over my face and her makeup bag in my lap. She got too quiet, I guess. She was like, where is Vera Grace? And then she found me with about as much makeup on as a drag queen. And it was, I'm pretty sure it was like all over the like mirror and the sink and like my whole body, but mainly all over my face. I've always, I'm not like a makeup guru or by any means, but I've always loved makeup. My mom sold Avon growing up. And so I started wearing makeup fairly young. I'm pretty sure I was like 12 when she let me start wearing makeup. I had this green eyeshadow that I was obsessed with. And honestly, I did a pretty good job wearing it, if I do say so myself. And the lip gloss is Merit's Lip Oil. This stuff, I didn't, okay, it's really good. I didn't realize it had like a whole cult following thing on TikTok. This stuff is good, good. This is in the color taupe. Really, really love this one. Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. It's super hydrating, which is needed on the airplane. So that's my makeup look, my earrings. I, so I think I told you guys I've been packing up my stuff and putting it downstairs. Well, I put my beach towel down there. I was like, oh, I won't need it for a few more months. No, I needed to pack it on this trip because I wanna bring it to the beach, but I guess I'll just use a hotel towel, but those are crappy and not very big. My big pink beach towel would have been perfect to take on this trip for the beach. It is what it is. Okay, I'm all ready, guys. Let me show y'all what I'm bringing food-wise. All right, guys. We've got my salmon that I cooked. I have it all smushed in here. I already ate it, but this is what I'm bringing for dinner tomorrow. Salmon and 
broccoli. And it's not really broccoli, it's like a European vegetable medley. And jasmine rice, I love, love, love jasmine rice. You know one thing I don't like, and I'm never gonna pretend that I like it, is that brown rice nonsense. If I'm gonna eat rice, I'm gonna eat good rice, which is white rice. I like saffron, I like jasmine, I like the good stuff. We're gonna throw in an Olipop for just in case, even though I'm drinking one now. The Core Power Protein Shake. I might drink that tonight too. Um, blood or <laughs> blood red juice. I'm gonna throw in two ginger shots and a turmeric shot. I'm gonna throw in cauliflower dip, leftover Siete chips, and my sea crackers. I don't have anything for breakfast for tomorrow. Okay, so let's whip up something super fast i've got my granola in there so i'm going to throw some cottage cheese in a little bowl with blueberries and then i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of honey on top of it drizzle and then i am going to add the granola in later my energy is really good since um besides yesterday like today the day before yesterday and whatnot my energy is good because I've been eating at home and I haven't been eating late at night. I've been eating like actual meals and I just feel sustained, satiated, whatever the right word is. You know what I love? Honey. I think honey is just one of, it is truly like God's gift to earth. The fact that it's just 100% natural, not modified at all, pure real honey, and it tastes the way it does, it's like it's too good to be true, honey. And I know someone, I'm sure someone somewhere has got something negative to say about honey. Be quiet. I don't care about your opinion. Honey is amazing. I'm still going to consume it. I have a lot of food in here and my ice packs aren't frozen. But okay, guys, let's spray some perfume. Mmm, absolute best perfume there is right now. Missing person. This has been my infatuation. I'm sure that's a lot that you just saw me spray. I don't care because I love this perfume. It's light and it's subtle, and I actually get a lot of compliments on it. I get a lot of compliments from men, if I'm being honest, which is fine with me. It's cute and it's sweet. Depending on the perfume I'm wearing, I get, like some perfumes, I only get compliments from women, and then other perfumes, I notice you get it from men, and I feel like when you get a compliment from a man on your perfume, you found a good one because they don't compliment perfumes a lot, if that makes any sense. I feel like there's just something about men and smells where they really like something that is subtle, natural, and actually flattering to you. Women too, but like, I don't know, it's different. I don't know how to describe it. And if you get both, which I get with this one, then you've struck gold, which I have, so. Okay. Uber request time, and I'll see y'all in West Palm. I've been sleeping the majority, well, not sleeping, just sitting in the bed the majority of the morning and afternoon. I don't really know what to do with myself. I'm like, do I want to go for a walk? But it looks hot outside. It's in the 80s. I'm like, do I want to go to the beach? I don't know. Part of me has just been too tired to get up and go. It's the walk back that I don't want to do from the beach. I could Uber. I don't know. So I'm eating an apple. I'm about to eat my cottage cheese. I've been sitting on TikTok and Instagram, which is bad, I know, to start my day off. But the day is already halfway done. Usually my motivation is to get up and go find a coffee somewhere, but I'm not drinking coffee. So I'm like, so what do I do? My Uber is on its way. I have my bikini on <laughs> and sweatpants. Um, I'm having a morning, full transparency. It's not even morning, it's 3 p.m. Full transparency, I have been like, disc I don't know, I go through it like ebbs and flows, my body image. Sometimes I'm really feeling myself and other times I like loathe the way that I look. And I know a lot of people go through it, so I like to be transparent about it. But yeah, I just am like, the last thing I wanted to do was put on a bikini and go be seen today. It's like, it, this happens most in the winter because I'm pasty white, 
I'm not seeing the sun. I'm not used to being out in like less clothes. So I get like extra self-conscious when that time does come. I also feel a lot more confident when I have like my self tanner on because it just warms everything up. And the, there's like a joke saying, if you can't tone it, tan it, uh, which is silly, but yeah so i've just been like not feeling myself and i was gonna go to the pool and it was so bad that i didn't even want to go to the pool and be seen by like people i work with that's how bad it gets for me um it's embarrassing to admit it but it's true but i'll get over it i am working with a trainer which helps with self-confidence and it's not that i want to change my appearance i just need to learn to be more accepting of it i just heard the notification of my uber getting here but yeah that's just how i was feeling like it was a mix of laziness and just self-consciousness and it's crazy because like i was at the beach with my friend the other day and i felt fine um but then today i'm just like no i don't want anyone to see me i'm like inspecting myself in the mirror looking at myself from every angle just like feeling down on myself. Cause I am, I did gain weight this winter and I'm at a place where I'm, I'm like back to where I was pre COVID. Um, COVID is when I lost like a ton of weight and I felt really good in my body and I felt really good in my body for a while after that. December and January, I like took a toll on me and I've been trying to like, and then February too, apparently. I like gained weight in February when I thought I was losing weight. Granted, I am working on my muscles and I am weight training. So I am putting on weight that way, but I do notice a difference. Like my clothes haven't been fitting properly and I just don't feel myself. So if anyone else is going through this, hopefully you found a little bit of comfort in knowing I'm going through it too. Obviously I only post pictures when I feel like I look good and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's crazy. It's crazy being on social media all day that like ruins your self-esteem looking at pictures of other people, whether it's real or fake. Oh, let me, my Uber driver's here. Whether it's edited or that's how they really look. And you know, it's funny with like cellulite, it can, it, when you're like not around other bodies very much, you're not at the beach very much or whatnot, and all you see is people's bodies on social media, you get this super unrealistic expectation of that's what most people look like and people edit out their cellulite. And that's something I've always struggled with. I go through phases of caring and not caring about it, but um, oh, like when I go to the beach and I'm there regularly and I look around at everyone and it could be like a girl who has like a supermodel type body, they still have cellulite. Like they still, like I don't know any, not a single one of my friends is cellulite free. Like we all have it and they're beautiful. Like it doesn't, I would never look at a girl and be like, oh, she has cellulite, Never mind. Like I don't care. So why do I beat myself up over it? And I'm pretty sure most men don't care either. Cause I've, I've never heard of a man complaining about a girl having cellulite before. I think most men just care that a girl's healthy and look for the positive and that's how most people are. You look for the things that you like in someone's appearance, not the things that you don't like. And we're our own worst critics and I've definitely been my own worst critic all day today. But if anything, it's just motivating me. I have a, a training session tomorrow and it's just motivating me to take better care of myself, to cut back on the sugar because when I'm eating a ton of sugar, that's when my cellulite is its worst and when I'm not hydrated. It does something to your skin. And yeah, I'll talk more about this when I get home, but I'm going to the beach. My legs aren't even shaven. I don't care. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna chill by myself, read, get in the ocean, swim, and forget about this silliness. The lighting in this hotel room is horrendous. I just have that one light and these like yellow walls with brown accents, it's not cute. But I went to the beach. My bikini is hanging here, drying. I straightened up my room a little bit. I ended up ordering chicken tenders. And you know, I completely forgot. This is, this is so bad, but I completely forgot chicken tenders aren't gluten-free. So I already messed up. I was eating them and it like, it just struck me. I was like looking up cause like a flake of like the breaded crust came off. 
and I just took it and was eating it and that's when it hit me. I'm like, wait, this is bread. <laughs> But, oh well. Um, and yes, I still have my salmon and rice. I did not eat that tonight. I let my hunger get the best of me and impulse ordered PDQ chicken tenders. Oh well. I'll, I'll eat the salmon tomorrow for dinner. It'll still be good. I think part of what it was is like, I'm used to eating the Starbird chicken tenders when I'm working and those are gluten-free and they're really good. I don't know. But I'm taking some shots just because I feel like it. The no joke ginger shot. And then no, the mighty turmeric shot. I love the turmeric one. It's great for making your skin look nice and reducing inflammation all over your body. So if you have joint pain, this is really good for that. So I did go to the beach and I'm not gonna lie, the feelings of insecurity did not just magically go away. They're still there, but I kind of just got over it. Like, <laughs> Got over it in a sense of, I just enjoyed myself at the beach anyway, and I just didn't care. I just, I'm like, it's not like everyone's sitting here staring at me, so it doesn't matter. I think before, when I was younger, I would be like too afraid to even change positions on the towel to like flip my body over. That's how painful it was, like how bad I used to be really insecure. Um, and it just kind of comes and goes in waves. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it comes. Um, and I think the best thing to do is to let yourself move through those emotions and then do something about it instead of just wallow in self-pity. The only thing you can do when it comes to being insecure, well, one, therapy, but to work on yourself and take care of your body and work out because I mean that is the only solution if you want to change your appearance but also but also therapy and learning to love yourself the way you are but confidence always comes even if you don't have any drastic changes in your body and if it's not done to change your body confidence always comes through taking care of yourself that is a form of self-love and self-respect so I was texting my friends and I was like do you guys want to do like a squat challenge and they said that they do. So Renee, Shelby, and I are doing a squat challenge and we're doing 100 squats a day for 30 days. And Suzanne, as soon as she gets the okay to work again or to work out again, she's gonna join us. She's almost three weeks postpartum, post baby. And I was kind of surprised. I banged out the 100. I separated it 50 and 50, but I did a lot better than I thought I would. I guess, cause I have been working out more lately. So I like, I don't know. I bang them out pretty quick, but yeah. All right, let me get editing. Why is it zoomed in so much? Hold on. My goodness. And it's crooked. Guys, ugh, I got a daily harvest package. I am so excited for this. I'm hot. Okay, I did my, <laughs> we worked our one flight. It was the easiest flight in the world. It was like a full flight, but it was still super easy. It's early morning, so you know, everyone is tired, but I am so pumped to get this daily harvest package. I was nervous that it was gonna get here on a day that I'm not home, but it came today and I am home and that is just lovely. Oh, so, let's go through the items. 
I already know what's inside of it, but I just want to show you guys. This is the most excited I've been for a daily harvest package because it literally has all of my favorites in here. I really love this. The you're a part of a sustainable future because that is the whole reason that I love daily harvest is the fact that it's exactly what you need and there's no waste no waste oh my gosh this is so good this is different but this is okay so they gave me almond and vanilla these are like little packets so you can make almond and vanilla milk well almond milk with vanilla flavoring we have oh my god this stuff is so good maple coconut cacao reishi chaga and vanilla bean these little drinks are delicious. I like drinking these before bed. It's like a little healthy hot cocoa drink. We have the matcha ones. I am going to have to save this for when I'm drinking caffeine again. They're so convenient. You can make yourself a little matcha with these pods. Has MCT oil, chlorella, that's pretty cool, and lemongrass. Smoothie time. Whoa, oh, these are different. I haven't tried these. This isn't a smoothie. Sunflower seed and apple bites. Yum, that sounds so good. I love their little bites. They are like the perfect snack. Blueberry lemon bites, delicious. I haven't tried these either actually, but they sound super good. Okay, cacao peppermint bites. I love these bites. They are so yummy. Those are my favorite. We have strawberry peach smoothie, delicious. Since I'm not doing caffeine, I'm actually having a lot more fruit in the morning. So fruit smoothies are exactly what I need for that extra kick in the butt for a good workout or post-workout recovery. And then mango papaya smoothie, hell yeah, sign me up. I love mango, I love papaya. This is gonna be so good. Mango, papaya, acerola, acerola, uh, pineapple, macadamia nut. Yes, delicious. And then another smoothie, oh my God, this is my other favorite smoothie, the mint cacao smoothie. This one is so good. Banana, spinach, cacao, cashew, chlorella, peppermint, guys. Oh, 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 last but not least, oats. Okay, this is like their little, it's like a little oat bowl situation. It's so good, I've made these before. Oats, apple, cauliflower, walnut, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon. These are the key ingredients, delicious. And they make it so easy. I just love Daily Harvest because I am doubling down on my fruit and vegetable intake and just whole foods in general and the fact that I have it delivered and it's frozen and I don't have to worry about anything going bad just makes my life so much easier. I'm quite happy about it. Thank you, Daily Harvest. I do have a link. I will leave that down below. You can get up to $40 off your first box. You get to pick and choose exactly what you want. They have the flatbreads, the harvest bakes. You can do all smoothies if you want. They have ice creams. They have the bites, the milk, the little latte drinks. It's almost too good to be true. I absolutely love Daily Harvest. My only dilemma is I need to eat it faster because my freezer isn't big enough and <laughs> I need to figure out how I'm gonna put this all in my freezer. <sighs> my training session was so good. So, okay, remember how I said I was gonna do a squat challenge? I'm not doing a squat challenge anymore because I don't wanna build my legs up too much. I'm gonna do a bridge challenge to tone up my butt and get it lifted and more of like the shelf look is what I'm looking for. I don't wanna bulk up in the legs. I wanna slim up the legs and tone up my glutes. So Tev, my trainer, told me I need to do bridges. So I'm doing a bridge challenge instead. I've let Renee and Shelby know and they understand. Training was good. It had been two and a half weeks since I had a training session and I'm about to hit the ground running and do two a week for the rest of the month. So that is great training. I had my training session and then I had my therapy session and guys, I just feel a hundred times better. Yesterday I was having a day. Y'all know I was talking about it. I was having a day and then today I just have my physical health, my mental health. I got a wonderful package in the mail of nutritious foods that help my body and help me feel good. I'm just in a much better place. It's freezing cold outside, but I'm in a good mood today. I just wanna go walk even though it's too cold to go walk i want to go walk i want to like move my body i have a lot of energy right now it's the workout guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog just me being real honest vulnerable and i hope as well sharing some tangible 
tips and how I'm dealing with it when I feel down on myself like that. I'm gonna just try to continue to keep it real with you guys and let y'all know that I'm human too. But for those of you who are new here, my name is Vera. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Balanced Flyer. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more fitness, wellness, mental health, travel, flight attendant, whatever. That is my channel. That's what it's all about here and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please say hello in the comments especially if you are new i will see y'all in my next vlog bye